Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of McDuffie versus Edwards. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. McDuffie, you are here today to prove that your ex-boyfriend, Mr. Edwards, is the father of your two-year-old daughter, Samaya. You say you are tired of the defendant denying your child and evading his responsibility. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Edwards, yes, you have real reason to doubt you are the father of Miss McDuffie's daughter and claim, after several attempts at trying to obtain a DNA test, you know today's results will clear you of any responsibility. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. McDuffie, why are today's results so important to you? Explain. Your Honor, these results are important because I know Mr. Sammy Edwards is the father. He's a pop-in and pop-out dad. One minute he's claiming her, the next minute he's now she's not his daughter. And at this point, I just want my daughter to be taken care of and get the same love and support that I had growing up as a child as well. And I just feel like it's unfair for us to have to be here today when I've allowed him opportunity, I've never denied him from his child, and I'm still getting a backlash as if this is not his daughter. All right, so, Mr. Edwards, do you agree with that? Uh... Yes, ma'am. Oh! <laughs> yeah. I, 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 you gonna I, make my job easy today. Yeah, I, 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 I'll Thank be you. honest, you know. Fine. But uh, how I feel about the situation, you know, uh, she said I'm gonna pop in and, and pop out dad or whatever, just simply because she's a, a, a gorgeous little girl, you know. I don't want to get too attached to her or get my family too attached to her because, oh, you know, I, I just don't know if she she's mine or not. But you come see her all the time. Like, you're, you're constantly there. You pop in, you pop out one minute, you calling her, that's, can I see my baby? Can I do this with my daughter? Well, and she, then now she, you're not. She, like, she, I don't get it. Well, Make up know. your mind. So, Either Mr. You're Edward, or you're not. Mr. Edwards, can you take me to um, the day you met Miss McDuffie? How did you all meet? I, uh, I saw her behind... She was a waitress behind the bar. You know what I'm saying? I, I really ain't, you know, paid too much attention to her till she really, you know, walked across... From a, um, across the bar, you know, I saw them buns, <laughs> and I had to proceed, you know. <laughs> so he had to proceed. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I I proceeded to the buns, you know, and uh, I got a number, you know. And at first, you know, we were texting for about a week, and. Uh, it, it, she kind of curved me a little bit because I think she had I something did. Going. I curved you all the way. She, she had, I curved She you. had something going on with someone else. But she, um, she curved me a little bit up until the time, you know, about a month and a half prior to me meeting her. Uh, uh, you know how when you just in your phone bored and you just see her and you see you ain't talked to her in a while, like, let me just get us another chance. You know what I'm saying? So I called, I called her again, you know what I'm saying? So she obviously was um, out of the situation with him, I guess. So, um, and that's what it is. You know, we, I called her, I came and picked up, and you know, we got the, uh, we got some good food, some good drinky drink. And, you know, I guess you know, I proceeded to those buns. You know, back to the buns. Yeah, store. you might have proceeded to a bun in the oven, too. Right, 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 right. And if we gonna get these results. <laughs> so you had sex the first night? Yeah, three times. <laughs> you you know. a, you be... Did you use protection? Oh, no. Nah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I hot dog no bun. I ain't going to lie to you. What in the world? <laughs> what is all this sex with just no protection? And alcohol was involved in that situation, too. So. With you, not with me, because I don't drink. Uh, well, you were drinking that night. <sighs> so then what? Do you all... Decide you're gonna date? Do you ever go on a date? Be in a relationship? Does this sexual well, relationship I mean, continue? I'm sorry. Uh, two weeks, uh, like a week prior to, you know, us having sex in the car, like the second date, um, it was, uh, she called me and said she was pregnant. A she, week? Two weeks? It was a week. No, it was not. It was, it was, it was like a week. You know, she, um, I really didn't believe her, so. I came to the house, you know what I'm saying, with uh, with more pregnancy tests and stuff like that. So she took those. She you knows she she saw. You gave me the pregnancy she, test. Yeah, I, I came to the house and gave you the pregnancy. Send me. I found out I was pregnant through the doctor's office. I took 48 pregnancy oh. tests. 
Forty eight. Forty eight. No, you, it didn't come up in my urine. That's how. This, that is not how I found okay. out I was pregnant. All right. You know that. I well, found out how I was pregnant through a blood test. Well, that's what you told me. You was. You was. First year pregnant, you, you said 48. Baby, don't go there, because you already know. Don't you go there. You said 48. So, Mr. Edwards, once you found out she was pregnant, how did you feel? I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. A part of me was excited, even though we really didn't know each other, because, you know, I, I love kids. And a part of me was like, like, man, it, this, this child may not be mine. You know, um, especially, you know, uh, I, I moved in, you know what I'm saying? and. Uh, and what made me feel like the side that made me feel like the child, it wasn't mine because her ex and his whole family hit me up on social media. That's a media. lie. That's a lie. What? That's her a lie. Ex her ex and his, and whole, his family? whole family? Is that's a lie? That's Seriously. A lie. Seriously. Family. Hold I, on. I've always been open with you. Miss uh, uh, McDuffie, uh, hold on. I want to understand what just happened okay. here. Yes, so yes. you say her ex and his whole family? Her ex and his whole what family happened? hit me up on social media. I'm talking about harassing the hell out of me, talking about this is not your child, you're stupid, why are you taking care of this child? Oh, why you got her? Oh, not child, That's but why you got her? How pregnant was Miss McDuffie like at the time? She seven months. You know what I'm saying? Around that time. He's lying. Now, so, wait. Longer. When she's six or seven months pregnant... Yes. ...you start getting all of these messages from her ex and his whole family... Yes. ...saying, why are you taking care of this child? You are not the dad. Right. Or You're why lying. you taking care of her while she's taking uh, right. care Right, taking care of her pregnant. because she's pregnant. Right. And so did you confront her and say, "Why is your ex and his whole family?" Yeah, of course I did. She and, and what she He's said, lying, hold, on, hold on, hold on. What she said was, "Oh, um, he can't have kids because we went to the sperm doctor and he and they said his sperm is this and that." But she just recently said she keep, she keep in contact with this guy and now he has a daughter. So I'm like, oh, oh come on. Oh. Oh, you oh so when you confronted her about the ex and the family reaching out, she said to you, when I was with him, we went to the sperm bank, he can't even have any kids. So then that made you feel like, oh, okay, maybe this baby is mine. Right. Only to find out later, this same man has a child. Right. What Mr. Edwards is not telling you is, the guy called my phone. He did not want to let me go. He was upset at the fact that he felt like I left him for Sammy, or I stopped. And granted, to be honest with you, I did. But we weren't dating. It's just I didn't want to go further with our friendship dating. because I knew he was catching feelings. But Judge. I've always been open with Sammy Her. about everything, about the guy. He knew about the guy. So, but wait, we if you weren't sleeping with him, how do you know anything about the sperm count? And why oh. are you getting that information? Right. Like I said, we were friends. We weren't in a committed relationship. We were friends. We were. Like, just messing around. I didn't want to be... Oh, so you were having sex with Yeah, him. we were, but not when I met Mr. Edwards. I wasn't... I, I had stopped dealing with him altogether two months before I even but met Mr. But that's not Edwards. what you just testified to. No, we weren't... Because we weren't in a... Rela I say we weren't in a relationship. We weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. He was just like a friends with benefits. I never wanted a relationship with him. It was never a relationship in the beginning. And I openly expressed that to Ed Sammy at the time. Yeah, that's not what you said, Miss McDuffie. That really isn't. That's not what you testified to. But as you getting going, you your story. Bringing out that lie. You can no, just look at. No, it ain't no lie. It's you, not a lie. You can just look at her face expression. She's like. It's not a lie. I know she lying. It's not a lie. How is it a lie? I'm just Sammy, saying. so I wasn't so I wasn't open with you about you, everything you was, when you I met were, you. you exactly. Right, I was just, open. I've never lied to him, Judge. I've never lied to him, Your Honor. I've never... I've always been open. I, that's how I am. I'm very upfront and open. I don't play with people's feelings because when you get feelings involved and then kids get involved, it's not about us no more. It's about her. That's all I care about. It's about man. her. I've always been open. Man I've never tried to Listen, play. you may have been open with Mr. Edwards, but I will say in this courtroom, in this hearing, your testimony started out one way and the next thing you know, it ended up being that you did have a sexual relationship He knew with I had guy. a sexual relationship. I didn't deny that from him. Did you know that, Mr. Edwards? I, I don't know what she got uh, so here much. you go with this, I mean, man. She, I don't from, play like that. I, I'm openly honest all right, about what, All right, all right. From what I knew, this man have dates. All right, of, all right, all right. What kind of dates? This man have dates of what the last time...
They had sex. What day she gave he, him? He, he, I, I don't remember. Of course, of course so long you don't ago, remember, because you're telling dates. a lie. But this man had, he added up the dates, and he was like, bro, we had sex this specific time, so I'm letting you know this is my child. And so man, he called dates, you with specific dates. Yes, no, yes, he didn't ma'am, call I him. He called you. me, he answered the phone, which I had already told Mr. Edwards that this man is gonna say whatever he needs to say oh, to get in between God. us because he, one, he doesn't want us together, and two, he are, it's already some ammo because I already stopped dealing with him. And then... So, Miss McDuffie, let me be clear. Stop talking for a minute. Yes, (laughs) ma'am. Okay. Take me to the birth. When Samaya was born, who was there with you? Sammy was right there with me, holding one leg and the nurse on the other leg. And he played Erica Badu when I pushed her out. So, he was right there. He was yeah, right there. Yeah, because I, I, I'm, 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 I'm more spiritual. I see you had the beads on. I mean, they look like African beads. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm very spiritual. Um, so I, I wanted my... I, I felt... I, half of me felt like uh, she was mine. So I still wanted to really, like, at least beat her. Just like you were there afterwards, too. And you signed the birth certificate I in the hospital. I, I signed Mr. the birth Edward, certificate. Mr. Edwards, well, did. did you sign the birth no. certificate? Yes, you did. Why, why, is the birth, why is her name not your name? Tell the truth. Her name is Samaya McDuffie. What is you Who is she about? named after, though? You. And, no, she's named after you and me. What is your name? Sammy, right? My name is what? Exactly. You said was me. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. I don't have to argue with you all because I have the birth certificate and I want to look at it. That's your last it's name. It's Sheree. So this is Samaya... Cameron. Cameron... Yes, ma'am. McDuffie. McDuffie. Lord, y'all can make up some names. Yes. Samaya Cameron. McDuffie. Mother's name, Shabrita Jaleesa McDuffie. Yes, ma'am. McDuffie. But there's no father's name. At the hospital that we had in the original birth, he signed the papers for the birth certificate. How they do it, you have three to five days after the baby is born, once we leave the hospital, to come back and have it signed by a notary republic. He felt like I should have driven to get him an hour and a half away he felt like I had to be uh, an hour and a half away to come. He didn't have no this, gas. Have anybody ever heard this before? So, you didn't, so when I called you and told you we had to come, come down on, to sign for I, the birth certificate, I, what did you tell me? I ain't got no gas. So, stop lying. I, I'm gonna just let you put yourself in the big old lie. I ain't lie. gotta put myself in a big old lie nothing, because I'm up here telling All the truth. Right. So, Mr. Edwards, is it your testimony that you wanted or didn't want your name listed as father on his birth certificate? I didn't want my name at the moment because I didn't know for sure she was mine. Even though I was there, I played my part as a man. So that's the half of me that uh, felt like she was mine. The other half was not signing his birth certificate. You feel me? Because I didn't know. So you didn't do? Yeah, so I did. You know, I took uh, prior... Like, later on down the line, I took uh, two DNA tests. And, uh... He swapped my child twice, by the way, Your Honor. He's already taken two DNA tests on my door, I, which I let him... And what were the results? So oh, it, to it, ask it him. Like, every time I ask him, oh, it's, I, I didn't get it, enough cheek it, sales, it, or it's, it's something wrong with the results. <laughs> That's like, what, what? That's what the, that's what the people he called He swabbed me. her twice at my house. I've that's allowed him to come the people called me home. and said. Miss, they, Mr. Edwards, what were the results you received? Um, they, they came back inconclusive. Inconclusive, yeah, okay. They, um, they said I didn't have enough cheek sales. I don't know why. The second time, I was like, okay, I'm finna definitely get enough cheek sales this damn time. <laughs> but you feel me? But, uh... So the when world? the test came back inconclusive, your doubt went even further. Yeah, I'm like, what's, you know, what's going on? You feel me? I don't even know why he's sitting up here capping, because he know this is That baby. man said that's his baby. All right. Yeah, I don't know. All right, listen. I will say this, Miss McDuffie, and I think, as a woman, you have to acknowledge that this is true. Even if this ex of yours decided to sabotage your relationship with Mr. Edwards by saying to him, I'm the father, once that happened... Oh, I knew it was out the window. Exactly. Yeah. I knew it was out the window. There why was... you allow him to DNA test, Your Honor? That's exactly That's right. Exa- I've never denied him. He asked for a DNA test while we were pregnant, sitting in a car. That's all I want you to know. Yes, that ma'am. At I that agree. point... Yes, ma'am. I it agree. was a wrap. I agree. Oh, yeah, I knew it was over with. Okay. I knew it. So, that's why it's important that we're here now. Yes, ma'am. Because there really is only one way to get to the truth, and that's to get the results. Jerome, I'm ready. <laughs> Look at 
that beautiful baby. Like, come on. These oh, results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of McDuffie versus Edwards. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When it comes to two-year-old Samaya McDuffie, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Edwards, you are the father. I honestly didn't know. You knew that. I honestly Can't didn't know. You are the father. Definitely. I'm gonna take a cheese that thing right after this. Try me. Take a <laughs> cheese that thing, man. Hey. You know? That's good though. Yeah. But not just once in a while. Oh no. Nah, nah, you know, nah. listen. So Maya needs you to be a dedicated dad, not a pop-up pops. No. Nah. Right? No, nah, not for You know that little nah. popping up kind, pop up here. We go to Chuck E. Cheese, don't see him for four months. No, that's oh, not that, being that's a dad. That's exactly what it is. No. Pop up here and go get some ice cream. Now we don't see him for another few months. Oh, no. We're not being a pop-up pops, right? I need for her to do, you know, if, if uh, I get on weekends, every weekend. But well, that's for you to... all to work out you once. Know? Look, you got to let Samaya get to know you first. Exactly. True. She, I mean, listen, just getting this is all about she the best interest too. of the child. Right. All right? Please go and talk to Dr. Jeff. I believe you all are both capable of doing a very good job at co-parenting this beautiful little girl, and she is so worth it. Yes, I wish yes. you the very best. Court is Thank adjourned. You.